Hello everyone, my name is Florent Jeannot and I'm a backend engineer at Data Theorem's Paris office. Today I'm going to talk about AWS SNS Attack Suite. But before we start, I'd like to give you a quick overview of the company. Data Theorem is the leading provider of modern application security, founded in 2013. Its core mission is to analyze and secure any modern application anytime, anywhere. Data Theorem products help organizations prevent AppSec data breaches. The company has detected more than 1 billion application eavesdropping incidents and currently secures more than 8,000 modern applications for its customers around the world. Data Theorem is headquartered in Palo Alto, California, with offices in New York and Paris. Data Theorem is a full stack security company. We provide automatic and continuous analysis of all layers of your stack in search of security flaws and data privacy gaps. Now let's go back to today's topic. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what AWS SNS is. Then I'm going to explain the attack requirements. And finally, I'll show you the attack from the point of view of a company, a customer, and a hacker. So, SNS is a service provided by AWS, which means Simple Notification Service. This is basically a communication tool used to alert somebody or something when an event happens. As you can see on your left-hand side, we have publishers. Publishers can be external devices, such as a web server or a mobile app, or they can be a human via the AWS portal. Publishers send requests to what they call an SNS topic, and the topic is in charge of distributing the messages sent by the publishers to all applications that subscribe to the topic. As you can see in the middle, subscribers can be AWS applications such, such as SQS, Lambda, S3, etc. Or an external application such as an HTTP server. Subscribers can also be a person which will receive a message from their phone or their email address. Amazon says some use cases include bank transaction logs, stock tickers, flight trackers, price updates, news, broads, news broadcasting, and inventory management. Now for the attack requirements. First, the attacker must know the resource ARN. So it's basically it's AWS ID. The ARN is needed to send requests to the SNS topic. So in theory, any device capable of sending HTTP requests could be a publisher the ARN could be discovered by an attacker in public or leaky Git repositories, as well as in the source code of mobile applications. Then the targeted resource must have a bad access policy configuration. And finally, the attacker must have an AWS account, which is free to create. Now I'm going to show you a demo of a live attack on an SNS topic. Okay, so now for the demo, let's pretend that I am a owner of a company that's selling products and I want to be able to contact my clients to inform them when there is a discount on an article. So for that, I'm going to use SNS. So I'm going to go to SNS and I'm going to create a new topic and I'm going to call that topic alert discounts and I'm for testing purposes I'm going to um, give a an access policy which makes anyone capable of using this resource Okay, so now my topic um, is created. So I'm going to manually um, subscribe a temporary email address to test my 
my topic okay now i've received as you can see on the right hand side uh, my new uh, subscription so i have to confirm the subscription now now i'm subscribed uh, if i go to topics alert discounts as you can see there is my new endpoint which is my email address and the status is confirmed so everything seems to be working uh, i'm going to um, release this topic to production except there is a catch i forgot to update my access policy to only allow uh, certain kind of users to access uh, this resource so uh, from the point of view of an attacker if i discover your um, arn uh, i could be able to um, do a lot of things on this topic so i'm going to show you that right now uh, as you can see on the left hand side there is my script so my script is going to use my personal aws account not the one uh, that i've I've been using for the topic. So my account doesn't have any topic. And I'm going to use my account to send a, a request um, to uh, the, the topic that I want to subscribe to. So I'm going to add the ARN and I'm going to uh, subscribe uh, my, my own HTTP server. So I'm going to create to run my uh, my HTTP server, and I'm going to open my local machine to the internet. So uh, this gives me a temporary um, URL, and I'm going to use this uh, for the subscription. So now, as you can see, my script is going to subscribe my HTTP server. It's going to publish a rogue message. And then it's going to delete the topic. So let's start the script. OK, so now it has sent a message using my personal AWS account to subscribe my HTTP server. Since the, the access policy allows any user from AWS to use the resource, it allowed my request and it uh, subscribed my, um, my HTTP server. So uh, as you can see, I, my HTTP server received um, a, a message from the topic to subscribe to to the topic so my http server um, subscribe to that topic as you can see in the subscriptions of the topic here there is a new endpoint which is my http server so now as an attacker i'm able to see any messages that uh, the the publishers of this topic would send so let's take an example. I'm going to send a message, test, test, publish message. So as you're going to see, my, my clients are going to receive this message uh, as an email here. Subject, subject test and the body of the, the email is test but the attacker also received it as you can see here my http server received message test subject test so this means that the attacker now can see what kind of messages this is about and since i know this is about discount articles i'm able to uh, forge a a message and send this message as a publisher to the topic so that the clients are going to receive 
receive this message in their email address. So let's do that right now. Okay, this is done. Um, as you can see, my HTTP server received the, the message as well because he's a subscriber to the topic. So it contains discount article available at an, a shady um, URL. So this, this would be like a phishing, phishing attack. If I go back to the, the email address and I refresh the page, you see that the, the clients will also receive the, the email. New discount available, discount article available at and the shady uh, URL. So now um, let's let's pretend that I fix the issue. So I I go to access policy. I edit my policy, and I'm going to uh, use my AWS account as the the only uh, user available to uh, execute the actions uh, in this topic. So this would um, not allow anyone to use this topic. I save the changes. And now let's publish a new message. Now, if I publish the new, when I publish the new message, as you can see, I, I've received it here in my uh, um, emails. But my HTTP server, since uh, he's been subscribed, it's been subscribed to the um, the topic. He uh, it's still able to to receive uh, those messages. So it's. Um, even if um, we fix the policy um, of the topic, it's important to also review the subscriptions in the topic. Now let's um, revert the changes as I want to show you the last step of my script. Okay. Okay, so the last step is uh, to delete the topic since I'm able to do that as, uh, as an attacker. And now it's done. If I go back to the topic and I refresh the page, as you can see, the topic is not here anymore. And I've got a, an error code, which is not found. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Have a good day.